Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, if this is your first time around here, then my name is Elise. Welcome to my channel. And if you are not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. So guys, for today's video, I'm going to be doing another spend or save. It is so funny because I haven't done a spend or save on my channel in at least two to three years. And if you don't know what my spend or save series is, it's essentially when I put two products back to back that are extremely similar but with different price tags and I let you guys know if it's worth spending for the higher end product or if it's worth saving for and getting the cheaper alternative. So anyways you guys, today we're going to be talking about the It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is a hot selling item especially around the summertime because it's a very lightweight foundation but it does have a pretty hefty price tag compared to this Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. I am very familiar with both of these products. I've been using them both for over a year so I have a lot of opinions here I'm gonna let you guys have it so if you want to see if you should be spending or saving then of course please keep watching currently I'm wearing both foundations on my face right now I'm gonna actually demo it for you guys so you guys can see how both of these foundations apply and how they look on my skin so I don't have anything on my face right now I have dimmed down the lights just so you guys can truly see how my skin is truly looking right now um, it's looking okay for the most part I do have the occasional breakouts mainly because it's my time of the month and usually it gets like that around this time so it's expected but nonetheless my skin is looking and feeling pretty good for the most part I am going to do a side by side I'm gonna put one on one side on the other I'm actually gonna put the Maybelline one to the test just because it is the more affordable one and I'm going to have it be on the side with the breakouts and I'm gonna do the it cosmetic CC cream on this side of my face and I'm also going to Blend these out with beauty sponges. Sponges typically absorb all the excess product, leaving you with a more natural, kind of lighter type of finish, which I like. I'm using two different sponges just so I don't mix the products. On this side, I'm going to be using my Morphe sponge, and on this side, I'm using this one. I think this is by Pure Cosmetics. Just in terms of packaging, the Maybelline one does come in a squeezy tube. And this right here is the little applicator whenever I use this I kind of just do some squiggly lines on my face like this I know that's not like the proper term to use but I don't care I like the fact that with this product I can just kind of go directly into my face and I don't have to deal with like touching the product I don't know about you guys but I have like this weird thing about touching foundation I don't like to touch it you know like I don't like to actually touch and I just touched my foundation and I'm just going to push this into my skin so this right here is one layer of the foundation and as you can see I definitely have like this glow from within but don't get it twisted even though I am an oily combo girl this doesn't actually make me oilier in the long run it actually works out perfectly but you guys can see how this instantly evened out my skin tone it was literally just one layer of the foundation and like what breakouts sis you can't even really see my breakouts I'm very happy with this I'm gonna stay with one layer I'm not gonna bother and do a second one just because I'm happy with the way that my skin looks so now let's talk a little bit about the it cosmetics CC cream this one comes in a very similar packaging in terms of it being this kind of you know shape of packaging the squeezy tube situation but the difference is that once you open up the it cosmetics one it does actually have a pump which if I'm honest if I'm just being a real upfront type of person I mean it's the least I would expect for it to be the price that it is I kind of would expect it to have a pump so same deal I'm gonna go in and put a couple of dots of this on my face this one does have a slight fragrance whereas I feel the Maybelline one does not. This is the side with the it Cosmetics CC Cream and it's very similar in terms of the finish and it also did a great job at really evening out my skin. As a woman with freckles, I'm very, very proud of my freckles. I truly do love them. So I always look for foundations that really allow them to still pull through in a very natural and subtle way, which I like. I am going to be skipping out on concealer today because I don't want to continue to just pack on the makeup today. I really want you guys to be able to see the final results. So I'm not going to wear concealer, but I am going to set my face. So let me go ahead and do that it's very hard to tell which is which they truly both have a very similar finish the only thing that I will note is I feel like the it cosmetics has like the tiniest bit more coverage it's like the tiniest faintest difference you really can't even tell the cosmetics one is just a smidge thicker as for everything else they're very similar in finish as well as in look and feel
So we're gonna start this off by just talking about both of these. I'm just gonna go on Ulta's website just because I feel like Ulta has a really clean view of, um, you know, the specs and, you know, all that good stuff. So let's talk about the It Cosmetics one first because I feel like that's kind of like the more, I guess, mainstream, more popular one because it is a high-end one. According to the details here, this is supposed to be the number one best-selling CC cream in the U.S. based on NPD units and dollar sales. So for the benefits, it hydrates and protects your skin. It visibly diffuses skin imperfections, including dark spots, large pores, and wrinkles. It's infused with collagen, hyaluronic acid, peptides. It says here that within the product can find a natural finish, a full coverage foundation, and a tinted moisturizer. It has an SPF of 50 with UVA, UVB, bright spectrum physical sunscreen now this product goes for $39.50 so just shy of $40 which is a hefty price tag for a CC cream and this product does have 12 different shade options let me talk to you guys about my experience how I feel about this product I do feel like this is a great product I'm never gonna take that away from it I definitely see why it holds the rank that it does being the number one selling CC cream on the market. I do believe that it is a full coverage cream, but I think it will take several layers to get that full coverage look depending on the kind of skin that you have. I have to reiterate again, me having freckles. For this to be full coverage on me, I need to do about two and a half, three layers of it, and I just don't want to do that because one, I'm not trying to cover my freckles, and two, that's just too many layers of foundation in the summertime for me. Like I mentioned earlier, it has a price tag of $39.50, which I think is a pretty aggressive price tag. This advertises a your skin but better type of look and feel. I agree with that. It says it has a natural finish. I agree with that. It says it has a hydrating serum within it, which I also agree with. You will see in the demo that this does leave a beautiful kind of glow from within, and I love it because even though I'm an oily combination person, this isn't something that I would consider a dewy product. They do have their own version of this for dry girls. It's not a super duper matte product so you are going to want to set it with some sort of a powder if you're an oily type of person just because it can get a little crazy throughout the day if you did not set it with powder but as long as you are setting your makeup just fine this will be perfect. Also like the packaging I think it's pretty convenient and pretty travel friendly as well. The, the squeezy tube makes it great to just kind of throw in a bag and be, and be on your merry way versus it being kind of like a glass bottle or anything like that. It does have a pump so that is nice. I always like a foundation with a pump. I always appreciate a pump now the only con I will say about this foundation and it's something that's a huge deal breaker for me at this point in the game maybe a few years ago it might not have been because obviously the beauty industry wasn't as advanced as it is now but I feel like nowadays there's really no excuse this foundation still has 12 options for a shade range that is not very inclusive at all we are living in a world right now where we need inclusivity we demand inclusivity and all shades and skin tones need to be represented and I just feel like they've had many chances to expand their line to add more shades so that this amazing product can be represented within other people. It broke my heart one time because I was talking to somebody, and I won't say who, I was saying how much I loved the CC cream. The person came back to me and said, oh my god, I'd love to try it, but that product doesn't carry my shade. And this person was of a darker skin complexion. And it's true. And that breaks my heart because everybody should have the opportunity to try a makeup product. If you are a brand and you are selling product, you need to be inclusive, you need to represent everybody, and there really is no excuse. It is 2020, and so many brands have stepped up their game. And whether you started off being a brand who wasn't very inclusive, there is no excuse as to why you shouldn't have evolved at this point to be a brand that kind of includes everyone at this point. For this price tag, for what you're paying for it they need to have more shades and there really isn't any excuse so I wanted to touch on that because that's something that's very important to me and it's something that needs to be discussed so now we're going to talk about the Maybelline dream urban cover full coverage protective makeup with sunscreen it has an SPF of 50 and antioxidant enriched pollution protection by the way I will leave my shades and links to these products in the description box below so make sure you check that out so same deal here what I want to do is just talk about what the claims on Ulta say about the foundation so this foundation has a flawless coverage SPF 50 it is enriched with antioxidants to help against pollution yet feels lightweight and breathable It not only leaves a natural looking finish but protects skin all day and it is available in 16 different shades and it is dermatologist tested it says here it has flawless coverage and it evens out skin tones and 
covers imperfections. It goes for $12.99. does give you one fluid ounce of product. So now my personal opinion when it comes to this foundation, I think it is great. I do believe that it does have that natural flawless type of finish. This does say that it is full coverage, but it is the same exact deal as the Cosmetics one. It does take about two to three layers. It's buildable to get to full coverage, but it is not full coverage upon application. You have to kind of build it there. So it really depends. Are you wanting to build it there or are you okay with just having one layer and it feeling breathable or do you want to continue to build it to get that full coverage? To me personally, if I'm going to use a full coverage foundation, I'm going to use a full coverage foundation. I'm not going to use some sort of a BB cream, CC cream type of product to get a full coverage finish. You know what I mean? Like if I'm going to use a product like this, I'm going to go for a natural finish. So it does give me a natural finish. I do believe that it stays on all day how it claims. I do also appreciate the fact that it has the SPF of 50 to protect my skin against UVA and UVB rays in the summertime. That is key. That is very important. I do appreciate the fact that it is formulated with antioxidant pollution protection properties. That's awesome because that means this foundation is formulated with things that are going to help your skin and protect your skin from environmental aggressors. This foundation does crease so if you are an oily person or if you have an oily t-zone I do definitely recommend that you set your foundation but if you do set your foundation you should have no issues. So let's talk about the differences of these two products just so you guys can make a good judgment call as to what you think is going to work better for you. So when it comes to the It Cosmetics CC Cream this one does go for $39.50 which is a difference from this one which goes for $12.99. This one is $26.51 higher in price than this one. Now, this one can be found in the drugstores and this one cannot. This one has 1.08 fluid ounces of product, whereas this one has one ounce. Maybelline one is formulated with antioxidants and it is more environmentally friendly than the It Cosmetics one. Now, the It Cosmetics one is a color correcting cream at the end of the day, which essentially means that this one is made to really help color correct your skin and even out any sort of discoloration, any hyperpigmentation, any redness that you have in your skin. Um, this is going to help get you covered, but I will say that even though this doesn't advertise to be a CC cream, this does the same thing. This one has 12 shade options to choose from, whereas this one has 16. This one has four other options to choose from. And then when it comes to packaging, this one does not have a pump and this one has a pump. The time that you have been waiting for is finally here. Drum roll, please. So I definitely think that when it comes to the It Cosmetics CC Cream and the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover, I say that you should be saving your money instead of spending it. I'm gonna just keep it real, you guys. I always reach for this product. Truly just love the way that this foundation looks on my skin. I love the way that it matches my skin, and I just have never had an issue with it. I've been through about three of these, so clearly I love this product because I continue to repurchase it. And now, I still love the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's not like I'm not gonna ever use it because I will continue to use it. But when it comes to these two products, I genuinely feel like you should just save your money and just get the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover product. It's gonna give you the same kind of finish. It's gonna give you the same kind of result and you're going to save yourself $26. That can buy you so much food, sis. Now that is my final verdict and I am sticking to it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. More than anything, I hope that you found it helpful. I hope this video helped you make a concrete decision on what you're going to be doing in terms of both of these products and I hope I was able to help you out today to achieve that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below which product you love more. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out if you haven't yet. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.